everything is practice take options and never give up namaskar to all from nepal and naman to all my gurus who always inspire me encourage me with lots of blessings it's me kriti shrestha upadhyay an interior designer artist and entrepreneur thank you so much www.us consulate and contact base for this opportunity and inviting me to share my experiences on this silly episode for thing more i'm grateful to sri arina vardhan abipsa ghos and i appreciate all the team members for doing best works organizing such an effective and brilliant event session workshops business meet to empowering women i wish it will take a global platform soon i still remember those days when we meet on business meet at siliguri where i was invited as an expert that was a brilliant event before starting my stories i want to say that everyone have their untold stories everyone is unique in this universe in this session i want to share my experiences my thought my prospective views more than my life stories i took four main subject vidha to become success one interior designing my profession where i connect my profession with art literature and the last one entrepreneurship i believe that supporting and connecting to each subject we can create more branches and functional values the another i practiced with those subjects interior design is a practical subject but i made it theoretical by writing many articles with connecting more subjects for awareness and promotions i took prepare art and craft related with interior designing and decoration from local and waste materials after practicing many years i focused myself as an entrepreneur throughout the years i faced numerous challenges and obstacles there were moments when i doubted my abilities and questions whether i was on the right path however i never let those doubts discourage me instead i keep my focus on my goals and reminded determined to overcome any setback that came my way the struggle period taught me the importance of perseverance and resilience i realized that success does not come overnight and requires constant effort and dedications it was during this time that i developed a strong sense of passion understanding that success take time and cannot be rushed despite the difficulties i keep moving forward determined to achieve my goal dreams i took every opportunity to learn and grow constantly expanding my knowledge and skills i sought guidance from mentors and sought out new experiences that would help me progress in my professional journey as the years went by i began to see the fruits of my labor i achieved milestones that i had once thought were impossible the struggle period i still remember those struggle days now became a testament to my strength and determination proving that i could overcome any challenges that came on my way today i am proud of the progress i have made in my professional journey the struggle i faced have shaped me into a stronger and more resilient individual i'm thankful for the patience i cultivated during that time as it allowed me to navigate through adversity with grace and determination moving forward i know there will be more challenges to come however i am confident in my ability to overcome them i will continue continue to keep patience and knowing that there is no limit to what can i achieve i was not good on studies but i always dream to become a successful person despite not excelling in academics 
with unwavering belief in my abilities i have relentlessly pursued my dreams of achieving success instead of conforming to societal conventions i followed my passion for creativity allowing my imagination to guide me towards unknown territories whether it was writing painting or making uh, artistic products i pour my heart and soul into my creativity and creations fully embarrassing the joy and satisfaction they brought me i am confident that i that one day my dreams will indeed become a reality propelling me to us a successful future always think positive whether i have to faced a bad conditions or bad situations or surrounded with harassment and all i always respect my work myself and my professions i believe that for success and achievement we always have to take options and i think everything is practice and learning there are no guarantees or shortcut success but i continuously practicing and exploring different options we increase our chances of achieving our goals taking options means being open to new opportunities and possibilities it involves stepping out of our comfort zone and trying different approaches it is through this progress of trial and error that we learn what works and what doesn't each attempt whether successful or not provides valuable feedbacks and insights that can guide us towards the right course of actions practice is essential for improvement and grow no matter how talented or skilled we are there is always room for refinement by consistently practicing our craft we refine our skills develop our expertise and increase our chances of success so i always practice i take options practice not only hones our abilities but also builds discipline perseverance and a strong work ethic I just step back. I just moved with my thoughts, my creativity, and my passion. Whether the situation was bad or surrounded me with uh, much harassment and all. Success. I think success is not a destination. It is a journey. It is an ongoing process of learning, adapting, and involving. The more options we explore and the more we practice, the better equipped we become to navigate through challenges and such opportunities. Success often requires resilience, determination, and the ability to learn from our failures. So. those are my prospective views and my thoughts how i spent a long journey 23 years professional journey i practice i make everything possible i start with a small step i think positive and i always dream that small is beautiful so always start with positive thoughts good knowledge and with master plan and a good prospective views i practiced interior designing since 2000 and it became a long long journey i want to say that i am a director of vogue interiors nepal an interior designer as well as an instructor where we offered a regular courses and services on interior designing since 2000 beside that i am an artist i used to art and create an abstract art and a craft from waste materials and one of the most important i am an entrepreneur i establish myself as an entrepreneur on this stern region of nepal recently i am a president of green moro chapter women entrepreneurs association of nepal where we empower women along with this i want to introduce federation afwin introduce afwin Federation of Women Entrepreneurs Association of Nepal FIN is a non-profitable organization which aims at representing the collective efforts of women entrepreneurs in the economic process of nation and decision making at national and international levels FIN is a central body of all women chapters till now 66 chapters are associated with FIN and it looks at establishing subsidiary women chapters in all 77 district of Nepal and 
एफिन ऑब्जेक्टिव एडवोकेशी कैपेसिटी इनहेंसमेंट सपोर्ट बिजनेस आउटरीच एंड नेटवर्किंग रिसेंटली एफिन हैड इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बीडीसी बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट सेंटर बीडीसी एम्स टू प्रोवाइड बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट सर्विसेज टू उमेन एंटरप्रेन्योर्स इन नेपाल टू डिजिटलाइज उमेन इन बिजनेस इट इज डिजाइन टू बी ए वन स्टेप सॉल्यूशन फॉर ऑल सर्विसेज नीडेड फॉर पोटेंशियल एंड एग्जिटिंग उमेन एंटरप्रेन्योर्स वेयर द प्राइमरी ऑफरिंग इज अ हेल्प डेस्क थ्रू व्हिच उमेन कैन एक्सेस एवरी several services like business registration legal advice branding leveling and many more so this is a session for uman so i have shared few of my experiences and about my professional journey and all so lastly once again thank you to all and the team for this opportunity hope we will connect more in futures and will deliver more knowledgeable things thank you